Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Angus Grady from London, UK. Hi Angus, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you very much. And thank you so much for asking me on here. It's a privilege, so thank you. Thank Happy you. Happy to help. Thank you for being here. So Angus has more than 25 years of experience in marketing and LinkedIn. And in, on his LinkedIn page, he says the power of LinkedIn will still be in conversations and support as well as grabbing attention for your brand. So let's start from there, Angus. So we know that LinkedIn is the most professional networking place. It's about networking, job search, personal branding, content creation, all, all of the above. But for still, for some job seekers, it's still... Uh, an issue they are not active there there or they don't know how to use so in your expertise how can job seekers use linkedin and is there anything specific they should do on their profile before starting to network or searching for a job in my opinion i think linkedin there are so many various parts of like your linkedin you need to get them right you yes. need to get each of your sections filled in properly. Mm -hmm. And and that takes a little bit of time. But doing the groundwork, the foundation work helps enormously. The thing that people forget about is that skills on LinkedIn are your keywords. Mm -hmm. uh, a skill becomes a keyword becomes a hashtag. Mm -hmm. So if you want to invent a skill that says that that portrays what you do, then yeah. in my book, that's per perfectly acceptable. And again, you can then weave that into your headline, which is another crucial area, yeah. as we all know, and the about section. And the about section for a job seeker, I think, is as important as the experience section, because mm -hmm. about stands for address business owners underlying trouble. Oh, wow. Okay, so your the company that you want to work for, your prospective employee or other employer, they are your they are your business. So, what is it about their business that you are helping to solve by being part of their company? And think of the why as well, not why you get up in the morning, but your why, what problem you solve, how you solve it, and the yield of hiring you. Think of all of that in the background. As like as, as like the wallpaper to yeah. your profile, and and the thing I would always say to people is mm. that your ex experience section, for instance, create your own company on there and have a company that talks about Angus Grady PLC, you know, or whatever your name is. Set a company page up that has your name mm -hmm. and a job title that is your name and what you do. Angus Grady delivering LinkedIn training, John Smith, Philippa Smith, Jane Smith mm -hmm. delivering exceptional marketing for blue chip companies. Mm -hmm. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you're expecting. And again, my experience of working with job seekers has been that um, job seekers are too passive in a way they let things happen to them whereas they should be stepping into the breach more and then looking at companies that particularly they want to work for yeah. and and again i think the biggest tip i have always given to my job seeking clients people i help yeah. is that you know find a company that you want to work for and look at the people tab on a linkedin company page yeah. and then you get a whole bunch of what they do where they live you know what their function is and there's a search box in there and you can search on a particular function which then makes it easy to find the real person who's actually hiring the hiring manager often isn't the person it's the person you really want to get to know is the person whose department you will be in yeah, yeah. so my my kind of thinking there is to just to make sure that you are talking to the right people but a totally filled in profile is a must yes and i always tell i could them, go on all day but you yeah. know and i always tell my clients have the profile as you mentioned the banner the headliner the about section and after that you can start networking and identify five or ten companies you want to work follow them check their content repost their content uh try yeah. to 
find someone who's there that that can give you an idea, do an informative uh, interview with them. It's all about them. And then when the job appears, you can ask for a referral or you can ask for a job. Yeah, and, and I think as well that people forget that a comment is content within itself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't have to be coming up with fantastic content as long as your comments are are in, in, interesting enough and full of some of your own key words, if at all possible, then yes. you can't fail. You can't fail. But, yeah, your banner, your photo, your headline. And, again, keep the banner fresh. Yes. I, t I change mine every month. Yeah. And yeah. I change my about section every month. So, it, so it's not evergreen. So it yeah. says something about where we currently are. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Angus. Is, yeah. 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 And for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Angus a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us the whole week. So if you can like, share, put your comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Angus. Thank you.